Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. The show is called a TBR SF show, which simply means the Big R Solutions uh, Sports Forum. It is myself, the Sobre Boys, Walifati, together with Sheikhs Mangobangwin, the man with an educated left foot. Mshege, welcome to the show. Thank you, Brother Sobre, for having me on the show. And uh, also, uh, greetings to Saddam there. We are there, and I'm trying to make a call. So, we are there. The game. TP Mazembe. TP Mazembe. Ah, but I. In the letter house. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy, Brother Sobre. In a term, in a term, in a term. The sidekicks. I wasn't happy with what is happening between Rulani, Ubani, and Ale, Abramovic. Is it Abramovic? No, no. The coach here at TS Galaxy. Um, oh. so, yeah, if, if I was somebody's advice in Rulani, don't comment in everything. That's my opinion. There's an easy in those years, you know, let them pass. So, you see, they say silent is golden, you know? But if you comment with, then you become controversial. Do you understand? He's doing a good job. That would be my advice to you. Don't comment on everything. And my All right. Uh, hey, Mr. Jolie. Pelab Shege, Usada Mute, a pirate of Sejuale, but not usually in La Paguela. Says Wabokuna, but figure Banna Negi, La Payana, Julian, I'll steal you. Ah, no, Nigia La Payana, like Nanigi. So it's, it's, it's not, it's not new. So, that is Wale Legai. I think Legai, everyone, yeah, uh, comrade. Six mm. Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> you said about yeah. Uh, Lani. Remember, Rulani is playing a uh, two role. His role is a coaching, and his another role is a, is a peer of sundown. Yeah, you don't have to play in one. Players can be a player and a rebel at the same time. Yeah, I've a good job. He's doing well, but he must not interfere on the issue. Yeah, what the peer we can talk about that too. No, what was it doing? Mm. All right, uh, let me say hello to everyone here. Yeah, it's Osalamunyan, Osalamunyan, and then uh, he will grow. What I like about Rulani, um, <coughs> when he made a mistake, he rectifies it going forward. As I normally say, us as the media, we are a reflection, we reflect. So, yours, don't take us uh, bad. We, we, we are there to educate and entertain. So it's up to you whether you take heat or not. Um, that's my argument. That's how I see things. Now, let's move on. Um, there are a lot happening. And that is one thing. I are busy hamping. Especially the Tembisa branch. I can share with you. I can share with you. I <coughs> yeah, and the two beginning, I said again. Oh, yeah, get today, get today, but from the mesh, then I said, get away and on secular lane, then yeah, what's that? Yeah, uh, today on Saturday, the yeah. second, uh, a good lane region, yeah, don't I do yeah, 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 but what support us, yeah, so regions, yeah, quality today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But never by the bride and probability and the supporters. So if you are a part of your brain's uh, supporter, go mm -hmm. bring your house. Maybe it can be a, a, a six a, a, a sundown supporter. You must mm -hmm. come there because when under region, region your house, when somebody mm -hmm. are women, so you are invited. But please mm -hmm. follow the rules on the list there, communicate mm -hmm. with the Transport organizer, what you are to watch up high, then mm. it's no problem. But the main issue for it, today is a closing date, but I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry, 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 I'
it's going to be a nice one. Drive up on my yamo. Let's a quick one. Um, Shaga, this is what I want from Sundown's uh, supporters. Uh, they don't share share anything with me. I want them to share. The next thing they'll be saying, I'm supporting Chiefs. I'm not a Chiefs fan at all. Uh, but Saddam is doing his work, and then uh, I'm happy for him. Uh, I've been saying, David on branch, Mshaga, they must come. Let them share. And then, uh, yeah, where's oh. Alanga Saddam? Yeah, Alanga Dinan Lukwani City mm -hmm. and uh, Colin Bobo for the league. Mm -hmm. Two home game here at City. Remember now, we've got only three games uh, left. People look on City, mm -hmm. uh, Richard Bay, Kadikechi, Tavarwapala, the Skukunia. Uh, so we need those nine points. Hono Kradi bonus when you go to Christmas. We are playing against Lukwani uh, City, three points mm -hmm. in Limpopo, transport 18. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. And then uh, Saddam? Reatseba Mplele Kasena Hape Banyana Banyana Batetsi one one. Um Batetsi one one uh gave me a bona. Now what can you tell me about this? Remember Bakorile and Away Gold, which is good. Yeah, yeah, means two one. Yeah, yeah. Then what happened here? Uh I think today. They're going to arrive this morning. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Now it's a good thing because recording our way, the college mm -hmm. give us an uh, opportunity to know Rubanele home advance. Ka, 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 ka Monday. On Monday, ka, 3 o'clock, go Lucas Murray Best Stadium. Yeah. 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 <coughs> so, go uh, uh, ticket pro for 20 rand. But we were hold. I'm on my hand. And Banaba Banyani, Banaba Okatalavan was called. Or by thousand, Koyo, for free. All right, all right. Uh, let's move on quickly. Uh, what a good news. Uh, I, I wish uh, uh, Tabino was here. As you can see, Jessica. Uh, I don't know whether can you see that pic of Jessica Mto? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she has been um, elected in the CAF. Uh, this is good news for Jessica. And I saw Dr. Kaizam down uh, sending a message uh, in the um, in, in, in Twitter space um, to congratulate her for uh, her appointment. So this is very good. Um, well, Jessica is, uh, is moving mountains and the table is not here. And then a table would be saying something better. <laughs> uh, but not only that, we know that um, today I'll be talking about Mamelodi Sundowns um, as their next feature. Very important. Uh, that's the, 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 but we'll talk about that one a little bit later. Uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. Today, what I want us to talk, we heard rumors that, uh, in fact, it's not a rumor, uh, to be honest. Um, uh, I saw, I don't know whether you saw it, guys, um, that uh, Sokala Tuma has done a, an intensive analysis about Pizzo joining Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, in fact, there are about three candidates, uh, but now they were looking at Pizzo very closely. Now, I want us to look at that. Will Pizzo be a right candidate for Kaiser Chiefs, all right? Or will Pizzo, it won't work. Is this a failing project that even Peter cannot resuscitate it? Now, let me start with you, Sada. What's your take? Mshaga, you as a former player and you are a coach in your own <coughs> right. And being a coach in your own right, you'll have a better spectacles than me and Sada on this subject. You know Peter. So do you think Peter will be uh, an excellent coach? And then, Saddam, before you go there, uh, I just want to also mention that uh, two things that I wanted to mention. It has come apparent that uh, there is somehow a beef simmering between Safa and PSL. Uh, Hugo Bros says he wants the players to rest after Christmas for three days. But unfortunately, the league continues up to the 30th. 
And then, uh, so it looks like things are just going to be sour between the two organizations. But remember, this does not happen only in South Africa. We know that even in Europe, uh, we know that the Spanish League is going at loggerheads with UEFA and all that. This is not a, a new thing. It's a phenomenon that has always been there. What can be done, Mshege, for all this association to resolve these issues? Or is it FIFA responsible because they bring so many tournaments? What's your take? A quick one, Mshege, on this one, then we move on. Uh, the PSL one, Prasad. Yeah, the PSL one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough one, you know, with the with the calendar, Prasobri, you know, but um, I, I think um, <clears throat> I think uh, Hugo Bruce, you know, uh, he, he should work with, with, with the coaches, with the PSL coaches as well, have an understanding with them because uh, <clears throat> uh, the nation also needs a uh, 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 the good results, results you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's important for 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 that cohesion between the PSL and and uh, and the national team to to have an understanding, you know, and and work together. I think uh, 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 in the past we've seen coaches who have also meetings with the PSL coaches, you know, just to plan out the 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 whole season and and what the plans are. If Hugo Pros can can also manage to 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 do that with the PSL coaches and 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 get a certain understanding with them on where he wants the players and 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 so that there's an <clears throat> understanding between between the two. But you know what, Mshege? I personally, if you ask me, I personally think that FIFA are the one to blame here. They bring so many tournaments, so many competitions. I don't know whether there's discussion going on. Remember, it's not only here. I remember at some point, Argentina Federation had a problem uh, with uh, Messi uh, uh, what, and then uh, the, the, the MLS, you know, when when are they releasing players and all that. So that, that thing has been going on. But, you know, it's a story for another day. We'll talk about it. Let's see. Maybe they need to shape this thing better. Another thing we hear that Mom Kiza, I don't know, I've mentioned that there is a struggle there. Apparently, she's got problem with SARS and all that. And then, but now, having all those issues happening in her life, I hope she'll overcome that. There is a rumor, also so Kalatuma on the subject, to say maybe the team may be sold and some of the players are not any. But let's move on to this one of Pizzo Musiman. Uh, Saddam, I wanted to, do you really think that Bijom Samad <clears throat> bring the fortune at Kaiser Chiefs? Yeah, no, thank you. First, people must understand something. Uh, we know that Bijom, when it comes to for his job, he's going to stay with the... I can't hear you now. The... Say, uh, you know, Peter, when he goes today, he goes with his people. I'm yeah. sure they're about six. Yeah. No, people, they say, no, cheap seekers can over, but uh, chips can't afford whatever. No, let's leave this one. It's beyond our control. Mm -hmm. Now, my personal, Peter, now, he traveled, I go Egypt, I go Arabia, whatever. It's the time for him to be at home. It's the time for Kaiser City to show that people, Bakabua, is around. If it's true, we can get Peter. And then we'll pay Pito. Chiefs in Algeria, you can check on the players. It's the only team that pay high salary, even uh, uh, our coach, Nagra, 800,000. But uh, people must understand that we don't just take money and pay and money and pop. No, we listen. But I think we are going to know. Uh, Pito can come together, Chiefs. And then if from there, they will get a, one sponsor. One sponsor to deal with with uh, Bito. Let me make example. Ronaldo Toyota as a sponsor. Sponsor yeah. can deal with those uh, uh, Bito's issues. To pay him. And then, but uh, I think it must be true. I think it can be happen. We need Bito to go to Kansas City 
to be part of that witches group. Now Rababat Lena and it is it's seems to be uh, our coach. Mm. Mm. Uh, when you look at the situation, having you played under Picho um mm, second, eh? Mm, no, 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 perfectly. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, you know him very well, isn't it? Now, uh, you as a coach yourself in your own right. Now, do you think it will solve the issues at Chiefs? And what should Kaiser Chiefs do? And the other thing is, does Pito has appetite? Uh, we know that Pito is talking about the national teams. Uh, we hear that uh, Nigeria looking for him. We hear that he's, uh, they're, they're scouting him in Asia. Uh, Japan and China, and then uh, he has gone to Saudi Arabia. He has gone to um, um, to, to Saudi Arabia, to Egypt, and maybe he may want to try Asia. And then we also hear that uh, even in MLS, they are talking about it. He's a hot potato. And then uh, what's your take, Mshege? And we also hear he said uh, he wants ten days in December for holidays, his family, and so on. So if he joined either Kaiser Chief or any team, it will be in January 2024. So what's your take? Do you think it will solve problems? Uh, Prasori, I think <clears throat> Peter Musiman has proven himself, you know, uh, to be the top coach in Africa. And uh, yeah, Chiefs are, are struggling. They're really struggling. I think they're struggling to a point where they need a very serious coach like Peter Mosiman, you know. So, yeah, I believe uh, it could work for them if 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 Kaiser Chiefs can decide they will break the bank for Peter because that's what needs to happen, you know, for Chiefs to change their fortunes. Um, Chiefs is a big team and uh, they've, they they are going through a serious slump, you know, of of a, of a serious drought of no trophies, and uh, I think. Uh, it's a person like Peter Mosimane who is needed there to come in there and take control of everything. Mm. If he can be given that platform, mm. because that's how Peter operates. He doesn't want uh, uh, interference, you know. So, yeah, those things will have to be done at Kaiser Chiefs where they give him the, the full authority to do things his way there and, 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 and to stamp his authority so that uh, <clears throat> Chiefs can can change, you know. Uh, so it remains to be seen if, if that's possible, if something uh, like that can happen and Kaiser Chiefs can can break the bank for him. Uh, but yeah, I, I see it as something that can work definitely uh, uh, for Kaiser Chiefs because Pito is proven to, to, to be the best in Africa. Now, Pito says before he decides, him and his team, they look at the vision of the team. Where do they want to go? What is their vision, all right? And then what is the project that they have in place? Now, I'm going to ask this question. Will Kaiser Chiefs give Pito a free roll? Because I see Pito coming in there and saying, you know what, you need to overhaul it. <laughs> Including, I don't, I'm not sure about this. I'm just, you know, throwing my mind wild including development and say, you know, at development, this is what I want to happen. I want my players uh, and then he's going to make demands in terms of players that he wants. And he's going to make demands that uh, you guys don't come close to uh, interfering. You know how Pizzo is. Will Chiefs, yes, Saddam, I know Chiefs may afford, they have money, they have sponsors, but the question is, Will they afford him the space of not interfering with him and allow him to do his things? Just like when he did with Sundowns. Remember when he went there, he struggled right at the beginning until the fans were starting to be uh, unsettled. I wonder whether with your fans, uh, who seems not to be patient enough, will Peter have that space? I'm just asking that. Saddam, Saddam, I can't hear you, Saddam. Saddam, 
Okay. Mshege, Sadama, I think there is a problem with sound. Now, Sadama, are you there? Okay. Uh, will Kaiser Chiefs give him that space? Yeah. Will your yeah, Bobby? Uh, no, okay. Will your Bobby Mutau? Everybody stand far away from him and give him space yes. uh, to do yes. whatever he wants and demand the players that he wants. No one is going to tell him that I bring this one. I don't bring this one. He's going to want his own place. Will Chiefs do that? Will Chiefs do that? Yes, Sarama. this is what we know. Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yes. Hello? Yes, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Yes. Chiefs will do that. Okay. I can say yes. Okay. Chiefs will give him a role. Yes, they will give him a role. He will do whatever he wants. He picks the players with his group, will give a role for himself. Now, Saddam, let I me go back. Chiefs can let, do that. This is the time for case that you can. Let, let me go back to you again, Saddam. Now I'm talking about your your fans because your fans are impatient. Will they give him that space? Because you see your fans yeah. losing one or two games. They start throwing missiles. We are now in trouble with the PSL because of your fans. Will your fans give Peter space? Sada? I can say again. <laughs> Yes, we can give him a point because we know what you want. We know the capability of, of Pizzo. Pizzo can bring uh, our glory days back. I know that it can happen. Supporters is what do they want. We mm. want at Kaiser Chiefs every single accordingly. If Kaiser Chiefs, as we know, is the best team in structure, mm. so they must give Pizzo. Chiefs and Pizzo, mm -hmm. they can go as far as whatever because now we are looking for somebody who can monitor everything put the players, discipline, and everything organized. We don't need a story anymore because that is broke the legacy of chairman about what is happening at Kaiser Chiefs. We don't need any story anymore. We don't want any Jualen anymore. <laughs> we, we don't want any, we don't want any Jualen anymore. Kaiser Chiefs, no yeah. more. No more. Okay. If, it's, if it's a true, no more. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, guys, Mamelodi Sundowns, they are playing. They are playing Tipi Mazembe. It's a big one uh, coming uh, this week. So, uh, in fact, it's, it's today. And then uh, we know that Mamelodi Sundowns are there. You know, Tipi Mazembe is one of those uh, big teams in Africa. And then uh, and then uh, we see that uh, Mamelodi Sundowns are going there. So, Mshege, as a Mamelodi Sundowns former player, as a Mamelodi Sundowns fan, what's your take about this? <clears throat> yeah, it's a big game, probably. Um, it's a very big game uh, playing in uh, Lubumbashi. Uh, I was fortunate to <clears> have <throat> played against Tipi Mazembe in mm -hmm. Labumbash. And I can tell you, Prasobri is going to be very hostile. It's always hostile, you know. Um, uh, the training session the day before the game, it's a full house there just to watch you training already to intimidate you, you know. But, uh, you know, with the experience that the boys have now and playing in Africa, they are used to these things now. Uh, the mentality is strong and uh, it's showing, you know, how we are dominating in the PSL, you know, the strong mentality of the players. It doesn't matter how it's playing, uh, 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 the system continues, you know. So um, I believe the boys are going to do the business in La Bumbashi. They will not be uh, uh, threatened. They will not uh, be intimidated by the, by the opponents. And uh, in terms of player to player, the quality, I believe that Sundowns has the quality to come through this one, you know, and... Um, uh, we don't need to necessarily win the game, you know. I think uh, just if we get a result, a draw away from home, we're good to go because uh, we'll collect three points at home. But, uh, yeah, the boys, uh, I believe in them and I believe they can come back with the three points. And uh, you need, uh, um, well, that pyramid is still breathing on your neck, uh, you know, and then uh, if you win this game... That means you'll have six points. Uh, that may guarantee you now the, the next round. And then uh, 
uh, TP Mazemba will be in trouble, and I think they'll be playing for their lives for this game. Uh, it's going to be a very tough game. Uh, you know, Sundowns is really doing well. Your Miami, as you can see, I've shown him there. One of the underrated players and, and the player that I really, really enjoy uh, watching. I really enjoy watching Mamlodi Sundowns. Uh, um, Saddam, what's your take? Do you think the Mamlodi Sundowns will definitely uh, make us proud? Yeah, I think as they are leading on the, on the uh, log day with the three point, they must forget about that one and make sure they win the game for today. If they win today, they, they're on the track for uh, the group stage. But mm -hmm. now, uh, remember TB Mazembe, they're a very, very tricky team to beat. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, uh, if they can uh, beat TB Mazembe, I can tell you that uh, uh, very far with this. But mm -hmm. for the meantime, they must make sure mm -hmm. they win the today's game to settle themselves on the top. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, I've been heard about injuries, uh, any injured players at Mamlodi Sundowns. Uh, but you know Mamlodi Sundowns, they have a pool of players. And then I'm still worried about this guy. You know this guy from Ethiopia? Uh, that guy has been injured for too long and he's a very brilliant player. And I don't know whether I should Sundowns sell him or should they hang him. You know, he's like Neymar. What's your take about Neymar? Do you keep such a player? Because Neymar keeps on breaking legs and all that. What a talented player, but unfortunately, Mshege, what are the problems? What, what led to players getting so much injured? Is lack of training or what? <coughs> yeah, Professor Bridge, it happens, you know. <laughs> I'm one of the players also mm. who, who used to have a lot of injury problems. Mm. Um, I don't know, it's just, just the luck sometimes, you know, Prasobi, because um, you train, you train like every other player, you, you mm. become fit, you know. But um, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just the luck sometimes, you know. And, uh, I think uh, that's what's going on with the Ethiopian okay. player, you know, such a quality player, but... Uh, since coming in, you know, just just got injured, you know, but mm -hmm. that was not also his his record at uh, uh, in the Ethiopian league. He was not getting injured that much, you know. So, I think it's just a stroke of of of, of bad luck at the moment, you know. And once he he, he gets super fit, but he ne prasobri na kona mela yo ayo pega ngale gibo man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm i Why some players they get so much injury? <laughs> Can question out about training enough? Because you, you start taking that, you look at players like Cristiano Ronaldo at his age, he doesn't get so much injuries, and even if he's injured, he recovers quickly. Uh, a player like Lionel Messi, I mean, at their age, um, what is what is that? But Shakes, as a former player who also <laughs> suffered injuries himself, and then Hello, he's telling can you us, me? yeah, I can hear you now. He's telling us that or sometimes he can get luck, you know, you are unlucky and all that. And then, um, what's your take? Why? Why so many injuries? Some players. Yeah, I think when on a player they got injury unnecessary because they got overconfidence. So a club player is playing good on two games, have over overconfidence, and then when they go to the training, while we are not in a training. Yeah, there is this. Yeah, Kata. 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 Yeah,
Otamai de Mora, he was getting injured most of the time, most of the time. So uh, that injury, he has to say, no, I want to uh, get unnecessary. Eric, you would say so. Mshege. Waka kama biliat. I'm talking about. Yeah, Eric, you would say so. Mshege. Is it not that probably the medical staff brings them too early? Not yet fit, one. Uh, and I also hear rumors that during the training, some of the players, because this guy plays the same position that I'm playing in, they deliberately kick the play. Does that happen, Michel? No, probably not. Not, not, not these days, you know, these days... Um... Um, players are more professional these days, you know, and uh, also the medical team is more professional. The medical team will never give you a go ahead until you are hundred percent ready, you know. So, um, I, I just think Brasov is is the stroke of luck, you know. Uh, uh, sometimes, you know, once you you get injured once, and then you just become injury prone. You become injury prone, you know. Um, those things happen to to certain footballers, like your name. Uh, you, you can't say he's unfit, you know. Mm-hmm. But I think uh, 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 Saddam also said it now that you know those. It's the maybe it's the overconfidence, the skill, the flair, and then you you're just prone to being kicked all the time, you know, like Neymar. And there's different types of injuries, and the, and the, the injuries that Neymar gets is where he's getting kicked, he's getting fouls against him. And then there are some players that just get injured alone, you know. A training gets injured alone, you know. Those, those are the worrying ones, you know, more than the ones where you are getting kicked. Because when you're getting kicked, at least we can see what happened, you know. Those ones where you get injured and, and you're alone are, are the ones that affect you psychologically. And then you start thinking, would say, maybe, Mele, your check, Kaya, would say, when Zagala, we are one because. You know why I'm saying that, Nshere? As you said about Neymar, Neymar, remember, has this reputation as a party guy. He's always in parties and all that. He doesn't compromise. You know, that also plays a major role. Is, am I right? Yeah, true. I mean, uh, uh, also, also, Prasov, you can't uh, get away from the fact that you have to look after yourself as a professional footballer. Mm-hmm. And uh, Neymar is more of a rock star. Mm-hmm. more of a rock star. Then you know, uh, uh, I, I don't know if he looks after his body that well. He eats right as well, mm-hmm. but yeah, the point I was just putting across is that he he gets kicked a lot, you yeah. know, more than more than somebody who gets injured, mm-hmm. you know, uh, um, uh, alone. And they kick him deliberately, guys. Those were the issues. We are wishing Sundowns good luck this afternoon. And then we hope that uh, Chiefs will come up to the right decision. Saddam, if you are going to get pizza, it's going to be definitely in January. You're not going to get him now. But I think good news, at least you have won against Morocco Silos. That will give you confidence to start buying time. Remember, Kelvin Johnson is there and they are friends with pizza. So maybe you'll put the words uh, for you guys. And pizza, I don't think, has a, has a problem. But what I like, what Peter, you know what I like, Peter always put his foot down. He said, I'm not going to send my CV. If people want me, they know where to get hold of me. And and that's it. It's high time that you need to come to that stage now, okay? Whereby you need to be respected as a person in your own right. Uh, guys, before I leave, I want to say we are growing as a team. I don't know whether you've seen. I think we are now reaching we are going towards a thousand subscribers which is quite good and thanks uh, for your commitment and all those viewers who keep on viewing and watching the show and please people continue to subscribe and like i said we are a financial company we are currently busy with the people who are uh, in the pension space uh, gpf members if they are 55 years and above and they want to give earlier than 60 and then they want to avoid penalties. Just give us a call. We'll show you how to do it. Remember that the government has just introduced the two-port system, which is the savings and the retirement. And the third one is called the Vest, uh, Vestec uh, port. And then uh, I'll be doing a show on that one, a very short show to explain the difference about those things. Uh, thank you very much, Mshege. Much appreciated.
for your time. I know that you are very busy, especially weekends. Uh, may you greet the viewers farewell. Uh, thanks, Professor Brief, for having me on the show and uh, to Sadaam as well. There. Um, uh, see you next next week, Professor. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sadam, uh, Luena Okatuela, bid the viewers farewell and thank you for your time as always. Sadam? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, comrade and Danny and, and Sheikh. Good luck to Sundown today. And uh, Kaiser Chiefs support us. Pizzo will be at Kaiser Chiefs Village January to coach Kaiser Chiefs. I said that. Finish and clap. Pizzo, you are welcome. <laughs> at thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That day, Jualing. <laughs>